It's your boy Hype bringing you another weekly Nightfall Strike on the Animal Instincts Gaming Channel. And this is the Willa Crota Nightfall going up against Omnigo. Omnigo is back in town, my friends. And she is going down. So let's see what we got. As usual, we have epic, highly shielded, and highly aggressive enemies appear in great numbers. We have Nightfall. If you die, you're done. All players die, your fire team is returned to orbit. This week's damage of choice is arc burn. Arc damage from any source is greatly increased. But wait, that's not it. We also have void burn. Void damage from any source is greatly increased. And we have solar burn. Gotta love it, all three. So choose whatever you want. I'm going to be going in there with my level 32 warlock. And we're going to go in with the fang of ear however you pronounce that and we're going to be going in with the black hammer which neither of those two are fully upgraded but good enough to get the job done going to go in there with galahorn as well which that is maxed out galahorn the goat so here we go let's fire this thing up and uh spoiler alert i usually go in there trying not to use my self-resurrection and um however that didn't happen but no big deal, man. It was all the way at the end, and you'll see where I went wrong, so you don't have to do the same thing. But that's why it's there. It's there to use if you need it. This nightfall wasn't that bad this time around, man. Without having the light switch and everything else like that, you know, it made things a little bit easier. So right here, when you first get into the darkness, I like to kind of go in this little line of sight right here and take out all the reavers that are back there just waiting to snipe me <laughs> once i take all them out i'm gonna go on the captain i'm gonna keep this going for a little bit you know so you can kind of see how i play it out and then i'm gonna speed it up so we can get through this a little bit quicker shed some time off of it so these guys can get out there and get it done for yourself if you're struggling with this if you just stop by just to check it out and see how i did well thank you i appreciate that so there we go, taking out the Reavers. Some of them are down, then I like to come over here to the captain. Now this room right here, you don't really wanna go out past this room at all. And light switch isn't on, so it doesn't take, do as much damage if you get knifed, but still, you'll get wrecked. You'll get wrecked if you walk out there. So I usually stay to this, don't pass this first doorway right here, and then if I have to, if I kind of get overran, which you'll see a couple of times I do, because I'm not using my Fate Bringer. My Fate Bringer will be able to take out the whole horde of them. Then you run back like this, run all the way back to this stairwell, and the enemies, they won't pursue any further past a certain point. So you can just take them out. I always run back from the skanks. If you were using a primary that had solar, you'd be able to take them all out right away without a problem. But I know that a lot of the knights and stuff like that, they already have the arc shields on them. So that's why I, I really like using a arc primary for this nightfall. So here we go. I think I'm taking out the last skank. And then after the skanks, you do have up oh, like there's one more skank coming down to play. After they're done, you do have, um, I don't know what they're called. They're the invisible samurais i guess you could call them so after you kill the skanks you don't want to just go running right up in there and you see i'm throwing nades trying to bait them out trying to get them to come to me but they don't want to so i just slowly peek around the corner and you'll see there's one there but just be ready that when you go up there and you're shooting around that corner sometimes they will charge at you so be prepared for that and if you have to just hightail it out of there, run all the way back to the steps, which you'll see I do here. I didn't need to. I could have taken that one out, but I just wanted to show you guys, which you'll see another one actually does charge me, and I don't run that time. Just wanted to show you guys how to approach that if they kind of catch you off guard. And like I said, man, I didn't use my trusty fate bringer this time around because someone had mentioned it in the comment section on the last nightfall 
So I figured we'd go a little different on this, and I was I was missing it. I really was, man. I love that weapon. It's an absolute beast. But just wanted to show you could get it done with the, with this one as well. And uh, why not? So see, there he goes. He came rushing at me. I wasn't quite prepared, but they're not that difficult. So right here, I'm just going to speed things up, man. Taking out the um, thrall. And if I would have had my fate bringer there, I would have taken out the whole horde. Because you get one precision shot on one. He blows up and takes out the whole horde of them. So a couple of times, I got to backtrack out of there and prepare myself and head back on up and take them out. And this, this went pretty well, man. This is by far the most difficult strike. Well, Nightfall strike, either or. Um, in the game, as of right now, we are closer and closer each day. One day closer, to obviously, to the House of Wolves. And I really cannot wait for that, man. I'm excited. Don't really know what to expect. It's going to be a new planet. Some Maybe some never seen before enemies i know a lot of it's going to have to do with the falling but you know maybe there's going to be something new a new type of fallen breed i don't know that's just it the element of surprise i don't know what to expect but i am expecting to have some fun and i cannot wait for that man i think we're about I don't know, three Tuesdays out from it, something like that. So I will be having that uploaded for you guys as soon as I can. And yes, I will be attempting it solo. When this strike came out, the first day it came out, I did solo this. So hopefully I'll be able to repeat that and get that one done for you guys as well. So right here is kind of the second main part of this nightfall. And you'll see I'm just clearing out all the enemies from this room and you'll see when the samurai guys come up the invisible guys that's usually when some skanks will spawn in and sometimes they'll spawn in right behind you in that room that you're with in that room with you so what i like to do is run back to the, the stairwell right here that way nothing's spawning behind you everything is head on in front of you and you got cover if need be and you'll see, I'm going to play this to the second wave of the skanks. And then I'm going to speed this part up a little bit too and just get us to Omnigal so we can see how that goes. And you get to see how and why I die. But I use this, I have the self res on standby just in case something like that happens. And that's why one of the reasons when I do this strike, I usually. The first run, I do use my Warlock just to have that self-resurrection on standby, man. Because it's just one of those strikes, like, anything can happen. You know, like I said, sometimes those skanks still spawn in right behind you. And you can go, you can die pretty quick, man. So right here, I'm just clearing out all the enemies that I can see. And this is Fang was actually pretty good for that, for the range Loading up some Galahorn ammo. That way, um, when the time comes, I could just clear everything out a lot faster. And it's pretty easy. This part is really not difficult at all. The hardest part is if you're caught off guard when the skanks come rushing in. So just make sure that I'm right there. The invisible samurais, you see them? Just run. Run back to the steps. Don't even wait to see if the skanks spawned in there or not. And at this point, I could tell that they didn't. They didn't spawn in that room with me. So I'll kill a couple of them, but still back up to those steps to where I know I'm safe. I'm going to be safe. I got nothing to worry about, nothing coming up behind me. Clear them out. And then it's just a matter of clearing everything else out, which is pretty easy, especially when you got the Galahorn. Now, if you don't got the Galahorn, it's kind of simple man just use the best weapon that you have i always like using uh, rocket launchers and ones that tend to track one that's good would be the um, valedictorian that's a good one hunger of crota that would be a good supplement you know none of them are as good in my opinion as the galahorn and um, but they will get the job done galahorn the goat 
I call I call it Gallahorn the Goat for a reason because it's an absolute beast, and I can't believe that it's still so difficult to get. I'm really How's the Wolves, man? I hope they bring something out that can somewhat compete with it. You know, I don't want it to be better because Gallahorn's Gallahorn, you know, but something just close, man. I don't know. And if these guys are new to the channel, if this is your first time seeing it, man, we're going to have the luckiest guy on Destiny following this, probably have it uploaded in a day or so. And uh, last week's topic, every week there's a new topic. And last week's topic was pretty good. Had some great, great responses to that and choices, man. And the topic was, um, if you could have any, create basically your own perk. What would it be called for a weapon and what would it do? And some great choices. So make sure you check back for that, man. I, I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. Plus, I'm going to reveal mine. And, uh, you know, it's a good time. Good time. Everybody gets a chance to chime in and a bunch of people get selected to um, with their with their topic. So here we go. Just met up with Omnigo. You shoot her a couple of times. She's going to scream and then a little horde of enemies are going to come rushing at you. And if you have to, just back up to this room as you've seen me do here. If you get overran and enemies, they will stop. There's a little cutoff point where they won't go any further. And come back out and finish them off. And once I clear out that room, I like to go up here and take care of this. You'll see this little cursed thrall right there. Hollowed thrall hiding underneath the, what looks like an outhouse taking a dump. Kill him. And then I shoot Galhorn over at the wizards. They're done. Now you're going to come over here. You're going to shoot Omnigal a couple more times until she screams. And get ready for the ogre. The ogre's going to pop out along with some knights. And I'll take the ogre out with the sniper. Switch to the galahorn for the knights. And we'll just rip right through this part. Get on to the final battle. The standoff between Omnigal and I. So there we go. The ogre's down. Come the knights. They're rushing. Bring out the galahorn. And they don't stand a chance. One thing I love when they have all three, all three burns, because any weapon that you use, as long as it has some kind of burn, is becomes a viable weapon. You know, so it really just opens up your options for whatever basically you want to use. Now, after you clear that out, you're going to have a few knights still left. I think a total of four. There's one up top and three down low. And just stay back in this area. Stay back in this area, shoot them up. If you're getting damaged, move back. You know, don't don't overstay your welcome. If you need to back up and heal up, then do it. Don't fight for that last shot, even though the enemy might be close to being dead. If you're wounded, get the hell out of there, because I think maybe two shots from them and you're you're done. And at this point, you're pretty much at the finish line, so you don't want to have to start all the way over. It's going to make for a bad day. And that's why it's really good to have the uh, self-resurrection on the Warlock. Just for situations like that. I did, like I said, I, I go down at the end here going up against Omnigal. And if I would have had to start over, I would have been pretty upset. I would have, I would have done, I would have did it. No worries, you know, but I probably wind up Solnus at least once with one of my other characters. I don't know, depending on if, uh, you know, teammates or friends, whomever is on. When I'm on the next time I go to run with my next two characters. But if I got to run a solo with another character, I feel confident that I can get it done. Just, you know, I play a little bit differently because I know that with them, I don't have that self-resurrection. So I play a little more cautious and conservative if i am getting hit i'll make sure i get the hell out of there don't try and ever stand and get that extra shot in that extra rocket or whatever the case may be so here we go we're going into the final area and this is going to right here is basically going to be the comfort zone this is where most of the damage is going to be done now i'm going to clear out all the enemies until it's basically just me and Omnigal, I think there's usually, you know, I leave one knight left alive that's not really going to affect me. And um, that's it. 
It's really, I hop up on this ledge, clear everything out, and then once everything's cleared out, I'll go down and shoot Omnigal with a few rockets. She's going to scream. As soon as she screams, that means the next wave of enemies are coming in. And then I need to get the hell back up onto that little whatever platform up here. And that way, when you're up here, you know, you're just not getting overran and something just can't run up and smack you. Because there's knights that come in with their swords and the thrall and even curse thrall. So up here, you're just a lot safer. So every time when that new wave starts up, I hop right back up there and clear everything out from up there. It just makes it a lot easier of a process and a lot easier of a battle. Now, last time Omnigal was in town, I did cheese her, and, um, you know, I just wanted to do it heads up this time. Do a straight up run. I don't want to always do it the same way every time, and, uh, beings that, you know, it was all damage, and, um, also, the strike didn't have all the perks to make it as difficult as possible. I just said, you know what, I'm going to run this heads up. No cheese, but if you're looking for cheese, you can check out the last time on the channel when I went up against Omnigal, and it's there. There's a couple of different ways you can kind of battle her out. One, you go underneath that stage, which it works, but it's not the greatest, but it's just a way you don't have to deal with all the rest of these enemies, but it's really not that difficult to clear them all out. All right, so coming up right here is about the where you'll see me die. And that's the knight I'm talking about. I do kill him there, but I think that's it. I don't ever I don't ever worry about him again. And there is another knight that spawns up to this room to the right here. And I don't worry about him neither once that time comes. So there we go. I shot Omnigal with one rocket. Waiting to see her. And this is where I make the mistake of just, I don't know. Just standing there and not doing nothing. I guess I wasn't really expecting her to kill me so fast. And right there I go down. But use the self-resurrection. And that's it. No more self-resurrection after that. No more dying. We're done. So obviously, I mean, what I did there was just stupid on my behalf. It definitely could have been avoided. I just walked out there and just stood there like an idiot. I don't know. I guess I needed a wake-up call. So there we go, she screamed and you see it spawns in the next wave of enemies here and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to clear all these enemies out until it's basically just I'm the going on and go out there, shoot her with a couple of rockets until she screams again, then hop back up. I'm going to let this whole next little wave play out here and then after that I'm going to speed things up a little bit just to get to the end if you guys want to hang out, stick around to see what I get. Maybe what I don't get, I don't know. Been having real bad luck as of lately on these nightfalls. If you've been following with the luckiest guy on Destiny or been following the nightfalls, then you know. So hoping this week it's time to turn things around. Hopefully luck starts coming my way. I don't know. I already know what I got this time around, obviously, because I'm talking about this nightfall, but I don't really know how I feel about it. Already spoiled me dying, don't want to spoil too much, don't want to ruin the moment. Even if you want to just jump ahead, feel free to jump ahead to see what I got. So here we go, it's just the same thing, I'm taking out that knight. And you can see on the radar, there's red showing up there at the top right. And that's that knight that I was talking about that spawns up into that room now. I'm just going to leave him up there, as long as you don't walk out there. He's not going to bother you, so if he ain't going to bother me, I'm not going to bother him. I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to take out these few enemies that are in the way, land a couple more rockets in the Omnigal, and then head back up. And also coming up, we're going to have comment from last week's Nightfall. And remember, guys, if you just want to be featured in the, any of these Nightfalls, just leave a comment on this video. Random comment from this video will be featured in next week's solo run on the Nightfall, whichever one it may be. And we know it's only a matter of time. We're counting down the days now before that House of Wolves comes. I don't know how they're going to start it up. Is there going to be a Nightfall for it? 
that day? Is that strike going to be the nightfall? It was with the dark below, so I'd imagine that it's going to be similar to that, you know, with the Howls of Wolves. So there we go. Everything pretty much that I needed to die is gone, and now I'm going to shoot a few more rockets that I'm going to look at this guy. He's just spamming, just spraying in there. But I don't care. So here we go. I'm going to go as soon as she stops. Take a couple shots. And it doesn't take much. She's going to scream again. I was going to try and fight and get one more rocket in there. But I figured, nah, let me get out of there. So here we go. This is the start of another wave after she screamed. And I'm just going to clear everything out. Once it's to that point, go ahead. Shoot, I'm going to go with some more rockets. So here we go. Here's a comment from last week's Life Forums from Ninja Games. Always the Fate Bringer. Why not the Edict or the Fang? Well, there you go. I used the Fang. And I was missing the Fate Bringer. I'm not going to lie. I was really missing it, man. But... It's no, not really no problem, man. The Fang is a good weapon, and so is the Oversoul Edict, um, Edict, whatever. That's a good weapon as well. I'm just, you know, the Fatebringer is an absolute beast, man. I really, that's one of the Fatebringer and the Galahorn, probably my two favorite weapons, if not definitely top five. Uh, just an absolute beast. That's why. That's why I always use the fate. But I switched it up just for you, my friend. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And there we go. We're just going to keep things rolling here until we get to the roll to see what we get. And I think it was like a total of about four, four waves, four times, and the Omnigal was done, which wasn't too bad. I would imagine if I was in there with... Another guy with the Gallahorn, we probably could have got it done in three, maybe two, maybe two, depending on how we played it. I don't know, I'll have to try out with the team, maybe later on this evening or during the week, depending on when I get, get a chance to get back on here and get my other two characters through this nightfall. See right there, there it is. Omnigal is done, and there was still stuff charging at me right there, but it it disappeared in time. There's a little wave to these guys. Shout out to everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. So let's see what we get here. Oh, my favorite. A legendary Ingram. Get to go talk to good old Master Raul. So we're going to take a little flight back to the tower, guys. If you stuck around this long, might as well just wait it out for a few more seconds. I'm going to speed up the flight. Sometimes that can be really annoying. And we're going to go get this thing encrypted, decrypted, and see what we get. I do land at a tower, and my special inventory was actually full. So I had to lease something and then get it from the... Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. A little visit to the Postmaster. Get my Engram and then head back and you'll see what I get. But as I'm doing all this, man, I'm just going to step on out of here. The video's coming to an end, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. And also, for a chance to be featured in next week's Nightfall, simply just leave a comment on this one. And if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, animals, it's your boy Hype. We out.